Power Book 2 Ghost is going to be premiering on the 6th of September. We got a new footage and a new teaser that we've never seen before. What I'm going to be doing in this video is going to break down every single scene that we see in that trailer, what it means for Tasha and Tariq, and to me it just seems that they're going to be setting up a return for Ghost, maybe in a few seasons time at the back end of Power Book 2 Ghost. But I'm going to be discussing all of that at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. But first, the breakdown for the new teaser. Welcome back to MovieBot and let's get straight into it. Now I'm going to go straight into the breakdown of the new teaser that stars have released for Power Book 2 Ghost. And we see what we saw towards the end of Power Season 6, when Tasha was arrested by Agent Blanca for the murder of Ghost. She's telling Tariq to go to school and graduate, and she knows that Tariq has to do this because one of the stipulations that Ghost left in his inheritance was that for Tariq to even inherit anything that he needs to graduate, and we know that he left nothing in his will for Tasha. And then we see Tamika back, she's back in the courts discussing James St. Patrick, Ghost, and to me, Tamika looks like the prosecutor in this case. She's saying that James St. Patrick was a monster. She pulls out a picture of Maria Suarez, but we know that Tommy was the one that killed Maria Suarez. But she was testifying against Ghost and it looks like Ghost is going to get pinned for the murder of Maria Suarez. Because we know at the back end of season 6 of Power, Maria recognised Ghost's voice. And she knew that James St. Patrick was Ghost and Cooper Sacks had her ready to testify against Ghost. But of course, that was until Tommy overheard their conversation while he was hiding in the closet. He dealt with Maria Suarez and not Ghost. Now Tamika is talking to Judge Nina Larkin. She's going to be in 5 episodes, so I'm predicting we see her in the first half of the season from around episodes 1 to 6 or 7 maybe, until Tasha gets out of prison, and I'm going to touch on that later on in the breakdown. Because to me, it just looks like they're setting up for Tasha to be released from prison. We see Tariq, he's telling Tasha that she needs a lawyer, but she insists that he goes to school and concentrate on his life and forgets about Tasha, but we know he's not going to do that. Just like Tasha would do anything to protect her kids, Tariq and Yasmin, Tariq will go the distance to protect his mother as well. Tasha looks like she's talking to a confused Yasmin. Yasmin's confused, she's lost both her parents, she hasn't just lost Ghost, she's lost Tasha as well because Tasha's in prison. And she's a lot younger than Tariq, she doesn't quite understand the situation as what's going on, why Tasha's in prison and what her father did. And this is what Tasha's trying to explain to her. And to me it's definitely Ghost's funeral that we saw in the previous teaser, I think it's confirmed in this teaser but do I think he's dead? No, I think they're just setting him up for him to return. I'm going to be talking about Ghost being alive at the end of this video so make sure you stick around and I'll talk you through my theories. But going back to Tariq protecting his mother, he knows that she needs a lawyer and a good one at that. So he goes and finds Method Man who's Davis McLean. Now he wants to hire McLean. McLean looks reluctant to take the case because he says he wants 500k. Now he's asking for 500k because one, he's a top dog lawyer who only takes high profile cases. Number two, he doesn't think Tariq will manage to even get his hands on so much cash. This is where the partnership with Mary J Blige comes in and I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later on as well. And number three, it doesn't seem that he even wants to touch this case because it's such a high profile case involving ghosts who went into politics, he became a huge public figure. But money talks at the end of the day and we know that McLean is going to take this case. And we know he's going to take the case because we see that later on in the teaser when Tariq is handing him a bag of cash and he's talking to Tasha. And the next scene is all about Cooper Sachs and Tariq. Cooper Sachs is a bent cop and he's telling Tariq to get his mom to tell the truth. Cooper Sachs knows that Tasha wasn't the one who killed Ghost because he was at truth at the time Ghost was murdered but he can't place himself at the scene of the crime without kind of implicating himself because he'll find it pretty tough to kind of explain why he was there at truth. But the thing here that clicked to me it doesn't seem like he knows knows is Tariq either. One thing's for sure, we haven't seen the last of Cooper Sacks and Tariq. Cooper Sacks would be all over this investigation with Tamika. Now Mary J Blige and Tariq. We know Tariq needs to get his hands on 500k and he looks like he's going to be reaching out to Mary J Blige. It looks like she's going to be the new plug but Mary J Blige says that she can't trust him. Tariq says he's ready, they can make a killing with him selling drugs at college and what does that remind you of? Choat. Choke was where he got expelled after Effie snaked him out for selling drugs at school. And it looks like this is how Tariq is going to be making his money to pay for McLean. And Tariq does manage to get his hands on 500k because we see how McLean is so surprised when he gets the bag of cash from Tariq. He even tells Tasha, you raised this kid? Tasha's sitting there smug as anything, thinking yeah that's my boy. And this scene here is a callback to how Ghost used to stand over his empire at Truth. This is Tariq standing over his empire that he built at college selling the drugs. Tariq is the top dog at school and he's the go-to for drugs. And then it looks like we see Mary J Blige with what looks like her daughter. I think this is who we may even see Tariq be his uh, love interest in the show because in the last teaser we got we saw Mary J Blige saying she wants to know everything about Tariq St. Patrick. 
and this is who I think she was talking to and we even get a glimpse of that later on in the teaser when she says to Tariq that he's got game but I actually think she's just there to keep an eye on him and to report anything back to Mary J Blige and Mary J Blige looks like she's warning Tariq because the next scene we get we see him with a bruised face he's got a, he's gotten a beat down and we see Grandma Estelle looking at his face so I think we can firmly rule out that it's Grandma Estelle's funeral in the show as well I think it's Ghost but I still think they're setting it up for him to return as I'll discuss at the end of the video and then we see the return of Simon Stern he's back this fool Simon Stern is back and yeah I hated his character in Power he was so smug he always tried to get one over on Ghost he lent Ghost some money at the end of Power season 6 and I think he's back to collect his debt from Tariq he knows that he can possibly take over Truth and I think he may have and just like how Stern tried to have Ghost in his back pocket he's gonna try and have Tariq in his back pocket but I think he'll find it hard to control Tariq McLean is pissed at Tariq because he knows that he's gotten himself into some real deep shit and we're gonna be seeing a lot of McLean because he's gonna be in the full 10 episodes and I think he's gonna be linked to Mary J Blige he could possibly even be Mary J Blige's ex-husband and I'm predicting a love triangle between Tasha, Blige and Method Man because we know Tasha loves to get her knickers off Brayden is back it looks like Brayden is going to be back and it looks like he's going to be working for Tariq. He's throwing money up in the air and I don't think he's going to be plain sailing smooth for these boys. He's going to be in the full 10 episodes of the first season of Power Book 2 Ghost as well. So I think he's going to have a major role to play with Tariq. Now who is this you ask? This is Berto Colon. He's going to be playing Lorenzo Tejada and he's going to be working with Blige. He's saying can we trust Tariq? It looks like he knows all about Ghost and how Ghost was always one step ahead and manipulative so he's got his doubts about Tor Tariq already. Blige says that she's going to keep him in line and that's what I think this beatdown is all about with what we saw earlier in the teaser because she doesn't look phased at all. That beatdown looks planned and Blige is going to be ruthless in this first season of book 2. We're going to see how she's really the street smart and strategic even more so than Ghost. And talking about Ghost, this is where I think they're just setting him up for him to come back in a few seasons time in book 2 because of the way they're talking about him. They're not showing his body. Letty, Han were dead in Fast and Furious but they came back. Michael Schofield was dead in Prison Break but he came back. I think in a few seasons time they will bring Ghost back and I think we're going to be seeing a special flashback episode in a few seasons time just to show how he escaped and I've gone into a few theories about how Ghost could have made it out alive in these videos. So I'll leave a link to these videos in the description and down in the comment section so check these videos out as well. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I want to know what your predictions are for book 2 after seeing this new teaser. I'm super hyped. I'm going to be bringing you the latest breakdowns and reviews from the 6th of September. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.